Citizens of the Kerbal's Democratic Republic of Klaatu, I, your clearest leader, Twitch Jongi, join you today from our super secret mi- hidden moon base as whispers of discontent have reached my ears. Several corrupt nations look to my lands with hungry eyes. They think me a soft and weak target, but let them come. They will find this dog has teeth. Please, come join me in the War Council. Hey guys, welcome back to Twitchy Plays Kerbal Space Program. Well, look at this. Look at all this stuff over here and stuff. That's right, we've got Kerbin side in so- uh, installed. Uh, that's not all. But like The mod list is ridiculous. Well, it's not that long, but look down in the dubs. That's the only place where I'm going to like spell them all out. But the important thing is we've got Kerbin side and we've got BD Armory. So we've got guns and we've got lots of different bases. So my good friend Bearded Penguin has decided to uh, kind of corral uh, five different YouTubers together, which, believe me, is an effort in and of itself cheers very much for going through all that man that's that's a lot of effort um but yes he has split up kerbin into five different nations and we each have taken control of one of these nations we've all planted a flag at each one of our bases and that flag denotes who owns the base uh, which is nice and simple really um now at each base uh this turn is going to be setting out defensive structures uh everyone else has had a go before me if you have not seen their goes uh please do go check them out again link in the dubs uh but right now we're going to go through all my bases set out some defensive units uh and then come back to this place because i hear it's a very sought after building and it just happens to be mine but yeah to the space plane hangar Truly, our engineers have worked marvels today. I present to you the turtle. Not only is it well armoured everywhere, I'm not sure about these heat shields, it was just kind of a, an impulse decision to see what's happened, but we have like nice strong armour all round, a whole rack of missiles, because, uh, you know, I hear my lands are quite highly sought after we've got some 30 mil cannons front and back i do believe they are independent well i know they're all independently targeting i have tested this a little bit not not as excessively as i should do but more importantly as this is the turtle i've also included retractable wheels i mean just how cool is that i, I think that's amazing uh so yeah let's um start start st- sticking stuff out wow there was a lot of uh st- noises in there okay so we have all been uh assigned 13 different bases. I happen to have got the, the green lands in the middle. You guys saw the, the flag earlier on. Uh, so we need to go around and find them all. So, and I mean literally find them all. Look, look at this list here. Just look at it. I happen to know Black Crags is one of the ones that happens to be mine though. So let, let's go out and have a look here. This is indeed possibly going to be the uh, working front of the war for a while. All right, Black Crags. Look at this place. It's, well, I don't know, mainly just a... Uh, just a bit of an airstrip. Valentina Kerman doing the driving for us. I thought we had more people than just Valentina on board. We should have room for two, but that's okay. Wait, wait, she's got a normal looking face. Oh dear, I think Texture Replacer hasn't been installed properly. Oh well, I will check that out later. But first, I think we need to get the turtle off some... Ooh, well, <laughs> that's nice and solid, isn't it? Yeah, I think we need to get the turtle off to some sort of defensive structure. Perhaps somewhere over here. Maybe we could uh, hide behind the buildings a little bit. We'll get some, like, partial covering fire there, maybe. We can hope, all right? Um, oh, and if we can just navigate these slopes well... Okay, yeah. The problem with this is it wasn't really designed for moving around, as you might be able to see here. Like, its main attribute is, well, I'm hoping it's armour and it's weapons. Oh yeah, look, like the armour. Okay, let's talk about the armour. You'll see that it's like a string of um, structural plating, but it's not your, your standard string. I've not used this as the only octagonal strut and then connected each one together because then if this plate got destroyed the whole thing would fall so if we take a look up you can see that each plate is individually attached on which i, I think is a bit of a, a work of genius i hope i've not gone overboard here uh i <laughs> yeah it, it might be a bit bit over engineered but then you know this is kerbal what yeah, you know, over-engineering is all about. Okay, let's try and lower ourselves down without dying. Uh, that would be good. I'm not sure if breaks on or breaks off would be a good idea. Let, let, let's give it the ability to, like, move about a little bit, just in case. Okay, there we go. I think... No, we are tucked away. We are, we are looking good. We have a weapon manager here. Okay, so this is the important bit. This is the bit that makes everything quite interesting. So, the weapons manager has something called guard mode. Now, this... 
will quite happily sit here and defend my base for me. It's going to use a sort of an AI system that takes control of the guns, and if anyone on the opposite team, so you'll see here I've switched to team B, if anyone on the opposite team comes flying through, this should hopefully have a go at Well, Valentina should hopefully have a go at him, uh, which would be great. All right. Okay, so let's get on to the next one. This is Black Crags, people. Take it in. This is going to be one of the one of the areas of contention, I can tell. Well, welcome, my friends, to the glorious resort of Woollypool that seems to have been built a little bit off the ground, which unfortunately leaves me with this uh, horrendous step to get down, and this is not the vehicle to be doing steps like that in. Uh, so I'm not sure how we're going to deal with this. Maybe we'll just uh, roll down towards the very end and, and hope that we're far enough away that we can, uh, I don't know, turtle up. And, uh, I don't know, this, this is going to, going to have to do, because this is as cl close as I'm willing to risk it towards going towards the edge. Uh, are, we, are we settled without any movement? We are settled without any movement, awesome. Okay, so, yeah, woolly pool. Uh, hmm, not sure what I'm going to do about this, it's it's just a helipad. Uh, whereabouts are we on the map? That's another good, good consideration. We are hmm, somewhere down south here. I don't really like the fact that I can't see my own stuff. That's uh, a little bit meh, but you know, we'll deal with it, we'll deal with it. Here's one I know that will be near and dear to everyone's heart. We have, of course, the island runway. Uh, if we looked just over there, we would see the Kerbal Space Center, but of course that's too far away, so we're not going to do that. Uh, I think I'm going to pop this guy kind of in this area here. Uh, it should make a nice, handy sort of hiding spot with us still having good lines of view everywhere and stuff like that. I'm not sure where people are going to come from, so I'm just going to kind of dump myself somewhere like this oh look at that wobble i think that's definitely a, uh, a design feature of this vehicle you know the ability to withstand earthquakes right yeah something like that anyway let's put the brakes on and wire down my servos so yeah the uh, ksp uh, ksc sorry island another one of my my bases milford island popular destination resort hangout spot for all the kerbals in the know from Kerman lake our most remote and picturesque airbase we will rain down terror upon those capitalist pigs we shall of course have to protect Ben Bay, the corporate headquarters for Twitch Tech. Bill Cove shall help us take domination of the mighty seas. And Shallow Valley, which to me appears more of a plateau, is one of our many top secret science places. And if all goes wrong, we always have Mount Snowy to retreat to. We also have Jeb's Island Airport and Retreat, but I didn't get any footage for those for some reason. Anyway, all please stand for the National Anthem of Clathu! Here we see young Corman Kerman performing the ancient flag-raising ritual passed down to us by glorious leader Twitch Yong Yi shortly after he created the universe with an almighty bowel movement. Corman Kerman famously, of course, won this honour by completing a two million word essay as to how grateful he is to live in a world with Twitch Yong Yi. A task that was so grand in scope that he was rumoured to have started his work two years before his own birth. The national anthem for the Kerbal's Democratic Republic of Clathu was of course written by glorious leader Twitch Jong Yi in a dream, and in the morning he transferred this knowledge across to his musicians through the power of his telepathy. Truly, truly moving stuff. But on with the war considerations. As a major superpower and contender in this war, obviously our intelligence uh, needs to be second to none. So of course we need to launch a weather satellite as I throw up the inverted commas. Due to our superior technological advantage and of course our brilliant minds working on the problem, we have a beautiful ascent up to Apoapsis. We shed our protective casing and let forth our beautiful weather satellite. Due to our superior knowledge of all things technological, we find ourselves in a trajectory that will never return to the face of Kerbin, much higher than any other pitiful country has been able to perform. We then use top secret techniques developed by our brightest engineers to clear our launch debris of our area. And we now have a view on every part of the globe. That leaves us with only one matter to discuss. Who is strong enough to defend my most precious of locations? What warriors are there worthy of the title Defenders of the KSC? I give you the Spartrons. So yeah, I thought I'd have a little bit of fun with this one as it is defending my most precious locations. We, what we've got is like six robots around the outside, each with a, a chain gun there. And then we've got Leonidas in the middle, like a Leonidas type character. Uh, of course, laying down the main defense 
with the missiles. With that, I'm going to say thank you very much for joining me for my first War Council. I will see you next time where we actually get to go and do some damage. So uh, stay tuned for that. Don't forget to go check out everybody else because they're all going to be coming for me and other people, of course. It's not, it's not all against me, is it? Anyway, bye!